Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for subscribing even though I haven't uploaded in like so many months. But um okay, let me guess what's the excuse this time? Mm. Well, just the usual same old life, school, work. Like I said, YouTube is not my work, so it's so hard for me to like upload regularly and stuff. I'm doing my um final year before my internship i'm going to start my internship in march next year so i'm really excited about that um you know sometimes i really want to get serious with youtube and then i watch stuff like the good doctor Grey's anatomy and then i'm like oh my god i want to be a really good doctor and then i start you know studying and then sometimes i run out of money and i'm like oh my god i have to work and uh, youtube is just not part of that like cycle of like being a, a good doctor and making money and stuff like that so i don't know and it's so hard being a youtuber in china with all the vpn stuff like last month we had the whole um what do you call it the whole congress meeting and they like blocked every vpn they did, they deleted all the vpns on the apps on the apple store and it was like so hard Right now, I'm having some issue with um, VPN Unlimited. I think I'm going to make a story about it because it's like the worst VPN you can download. But that's that's a story for another day. Um, okay, so because I haven't been online for so long, I'm going to gift you guys with a story time from about two years ago. So, okay, where do I start? Um, this happened about two years ago, like I said. Um, it was a modeling job in another city, not in Beijing. It was in another city, um, a little bit far from Beijing. It was, I think, it was a very, very small, I think you can call it a town, not really a city because it was very small. Yeah, we went there um, from Beijing with a bus. Usually you're supposed to take a train or flight. If it's a, a job, a modeling job in another city, they're supposed to put you on a train or uh, on a plane but they took us um on a bus they said it was gonna take three hours but it ended up taking like six hours so it was very very long and ended up taking six hours we got to the hotel um how many were we we were like something like that five girls five guys and all the all the guys were russian and then there was like one other like black girl like brazilian and then there was another girl from i think she's from bulgaria or something like that yeah i think so but she doesn't speak russian she can just understand a little bit of russian so we're the only english speakers i got uh my roommate was the the girl from bulgaria so the next day um was the job basically we just it was like a new um housing agency thing so basically in china what they like doing is the um hire models especially when things are just opening so basically they'll hire the models to just stand in the front greet the customers say hi take pictures and stuff like that just i don't know why they you know they just hire foreigners so that the product can look kind of like foreignish whatever but yeah they hire the foreigners um especially when something is opening up just stand in the front say hi they play music and it's you know i don't want to say the usual because you actually don't know how it looks but it's the usual to me so i'm going to try my best to kind of paint a picture for you guys so where we were working is where we were supposed to work yeah it was an estate basically apartments and then like it had like this huge like water fountain thingy ocean vibe thing going on like um what do you call that thing um the theme yes that's what i'm looking for <laughs> the theme of the estate was kind of like ocean vibe stuff i do not know why because this was like in the middle of nowhere this was like a really really small town i don't even think it was close to the beach because it just looked so run down but the estate looked really really nice so we had to wear bikinis i had like this full bikini and then like i, I had like a, a scarf that i tied around my waist 
So basically, we're supposed to walk on a runway next to the water fountain. So we walk on the runway once and come back and then another time again, like after 30 minutes. So we do that once in the morning and then lunch and then like in the afternoon when they're almost like closing, closing up, like maybe four. We got there, we changed our clothes, wore our bikinis, you know, took pictures, selfies, Snapchat, blah, 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 you know, all the good stuff. And then um, we went out to walk. So as usual, obviously, it's foreigners, they're wearing bikinis, they're looking hot. Obviously, people are going to take pictures. A lot of people, a lot, a lot of people were there. So they were taking pictures. We were doing the walk. It was my turn to walk. I walked. So many people taking pictures. Then we were done. So we had to wait another 30 minutes before walking again. There's this other little room where we're changing and then there's another area where we could sit down and just chill um, where there are not a lot of people coming up to us and taking pictures. It's just where we, where the models were supposed to sit. So me knowing I have like a little, I think my blood was like this big, I had to pee. I went to pee and then I remember coming back and there were no models at the sitting area. So I was like, okay. What a one. I went to the to the changing room and the changing room was empty. Like and like 30 minutes ago the changing room was like full, was full of clothes, people's clothes everywhere, costumes and stuff like that. But I could only see the costumes, but people's belongings, people's clothes were not there. It looked like it was just clean, like I was just like you know confused so i went out to the area where there are a lot of um chinese people and stuff to look for the models so i, I just assumed it was kind of like lunch time maybe we don't have to walk again maybe it's time to have lunch maybe it's time to go out and have lunch and then we can come back or something and then as i'm walking out i see one of the male models um just talking to some guy and it looks like they're kind of like just arguing or something. Not really arguing. You know when you don't understand someone. Just the way you're trying to make someone understand something like that. So that's what they were doing. And being me, I was just like, you know, I know Chinese. My Chinese is good. Blah, 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 blah. Let me go help out. So I walk up to them and I'm like, uh, Ni hao. Shema. What, you know, what's the problem? you know just the usual can i help you and then the guy is like you know trying to shove me away i'm like the the models like shoving me away i'm like i'm here to help you and you're shoving me away like what's really good what is good so i'm like this guy is really rude he's really rude and then He's shoving me away and then all of a sudden the Chinese guy, mind you, he's holding some walkie-talkie that's like going off. It's not even going, you know, the, this, there's like other people talking using the walkie-talkie. It's like just, you know, making noise. So I'm assuming this guy is actually maybe the security because he wasn't wearing like police outfits or anything like that. He was just wearing like black black shirt black um trousers boots normal you know police boots looking like boots <laughs> and then the walkie-talkie that was just you know making so much noise people talking on it and then he just like grabs me grabs my arm and i'm like really i know chinese people are like obsessed with foreigners and stuff but you don't gotta hold me like that mm -mm. no not me no i mean look at my arm look look at my wrist it's tiny so you can imagine like he was holding me so hard i wanted to kill this guy like he was just grabbing me like this and i'm like ah, what is going on here why is this guy holding me like this so i, I mean i almost said the model's name <laughs> So, okay, we're going to name him Fred. I don't know. 
let's just name him fred so fred is like um trying to help me get loose so now there's two guys fighting over my arm like my little wrist guys my little wrist just fighting over my my wrist just so fred is like trying to like help to let me go you know and then finally i get free and then fred is like you know he 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 just manages to just say run so i'm thinking this guy doesn't know english so maybe he's just telling me to go away so i'm like okay i'm gonna go but i i obviously i wanted to get away from that area because the guy was acting mad he was just acting like foolish i just wanted to go so i started walking fast i got out of the building and i managed to see the agent that hired us mind you fred is the one that helped the agent to look for the models so that's why like fred was like um i don't know kind of like closer to the agent more than us and then so i i get to the agent and i'm like hey um fred is being harassed by this chinese guy and then the agent is just like okay okay go to the bus I'm like, okay, why is everybody being rude today? Like, what is going on? Like, what is really good? What's going on? So, I don't even know where the bus is, but I'm walking towards wherever she told me to go to. And then I see the other two girls that can speak English. So, I just run up to them, and one of them is actually holding my backpack that I had my passport in, I had my money in there. Like, basically, if your passport is not with you, you've lost your life you're lost you're finished so i was so happy that i could find i I found her with my backpack and i'm like oh my god thank you so much is it time for lunch (laughs) i still thought that it was you know it's still lunch time you know i thought this is all you know we're stopping because it's lunch time because you know models gotta eat you can't just stay skinny you can't stay suffering you have to eat i caught up to the girls and then one of them had my backpack like i said so i checked my backpack if my money is there my money was there check my passport was there check so i was good then i'm like okay where are you going to eat and then the other one is like um where were you the police are here and i was like eh? <laughs> the what the police are here <laughs> I, I felt like i was in a movie like i was in a movie like i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it that we actually ran from the police so i was like is that why everybody is not there like nobody's everybody just vanished disappear as if we were never even there so I'm like, ah, what are we going to do now? This girl is frantic. Like she was, she, I had never even seen anybody, you know, be scared like that. She started, she was like, you know what? We need to get in somewhere. We cannot be walking on the streets. And she was kind of right. But she, you know, the way she was doing it was like, girl, chill, chill. God is with us. You need to chill. Hmm? It's like this girl is going crazy. She's so paranoid. But let me just listen to her. So we we found a restaurant that we well that she ran into and I just followed. We got into a restaurant, we sat there. She tried to call her roommate. Oh yeah, her roommate is Russian and she could also speak English. So she tried to call her roommate and there were friends before the job so they were close friends and then yes yeah, she tried to call her roommate friend and the roommate finally picked up after like 20 missed calls or something and she's like oh my god i almost said her name <laughs> she's like barbie barbie oh my god i don't know where i am i just ran um when i saw the police i just ran um yeah i saw the police take fred blah 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 i don't even know where i am i don't know how i'm gonna get back to the hotel i was just like oh my god 
this girl is also paranoid they're just the same not knowing they both have friends that have been caught by the police working as models d deported and fined so that is why they were kind of like you know paranoid they had like something on their passport that was written that they were deported and stuff so as a student i was just like you know that's when shit just cut kind of like hit the fan because it's like if i get deported i was just like thinking about okay what if i actually get deported what am i even doing here like i'm so far away from beijing i don't even know where the train station is am i even gonna get paid <laughs> i was just like you know so many questions were just getting in my head and then i just started becoming a little bit more you know serious about the the situation and then i was like oh yeah that is why fred was you know being held by that guy and then they were like, you knew all this time that the police were here? And I'm like, no, I didn't even know that. I, I thought we were going out for lunch and you're telling me that the police are here. I'm just finding out like 30 seconds ago. So no, I didn't know. So um, one of the agent's friends came and found us in the restaurant. And we actually thought it was like one of the police. So we kind of like, you know, when he walked in, like, we were like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Only to find out that he's the friend with his friends with the agent um he managed to find us a taxi and then we just went into he, he managed to find us a taxi he told the taxi guy that he should take us to the hotel so on our way to the hotel we saw like a big mall and then um barbie was like girls let's not go to the hotel let's just stop in this mall and wait for you know a while so that we know exactly what's going on because maybe the police are actually waiting for us at the hotel so i was like oh my god that is so true maybe the police are actually waiting for us at the hotel so we got off at the mall and then we walked into a kfc because we really didn't want to be walking on the streets we walked into KFC, we sat, and then we had this um, WeChat, WeChat group um, where all the models could talk and the agent could communicate with us all. It was so annoying because the Russian models kept on talking, speaking to each other in Russian. And you know, when you translate Russian to English on WeChat, it doesn't translate like the full thing. Basically, it just makes you even more confused. And I was just like, oh my gosh, what is the plan? Where where are we going? So only to find out that the reason why we used a bus was because Fred didn't have a passport. Like I said, your passport in China is your life. Don't lose it. Don't let it expire. Don't let your visa expire when you're here. Don't don't do it don't so fred didn't have a passport or it either expired or he didn't have a visa but the story was he didn't have a passport so fred is basically we were at kfc on the group trying to figure out what to do the girl that was with us the bulgarian girl she could she tried to you know um translate then they started sending voice notes because they didn't want people to kind of like screenshot or something i don't know why they think that but they didn't want like screenshot um stuff so also you cannot um forward voice notes so that's why they started sending voice notes gosh she tried her best to kind of like translate and then when she finally when she could finally like translate she found out that they had already gone to the hotel they had already gotten their stuff and they had already um bought tickets online to beijing chain tickets to beijing they were set we were in kfc sitting like sitting ducks yeah now i was just like okay 
we need to find a plan. We we need to go. We need to go to the hotel. Barbie was just like, you know what? All I have in that hotel is a book from my mom, and I'm not willing to risk my life to go and get that book. So no, I'm willing to go to the train station because I have my passport right here. I have money. I can go. All the clothes that are there, my shoes, my makeup can stay there. I'm like, oh. this girl is serious. Oh. She's very serious. She's very serious. She's about to bounce. She's about to leave. I see it. Anyways, I had my passport. I had money. But I had my makeup and my clothes that I was thinking about, you know. I thought about it for a second. Because I still, it still didn't like really hit me like the magnitude and how serious this was. But um, the Bulgarian girl, however, she had left her passport in the hotel. Why would you do that? Why? Why would you leave your passport in the hotel? Um, we ended up going to the hotel. That was the fastest two minutes of my life, I tell you. We go to the hotel with a taxi. I had the card to the room. We zoomed. You know what zooming is? We zoomed past the reception, onto the elevator, ran to our room. Our room was on the seventh floor. Elevator took years to get to the seventh floor. You know when you, your adrenaline is like here, you know, when it's high. Seven floor is is very 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 far. We took two seconds. I remember my makeup was on the bathroom counter. I took my suitcase and I just did like this. Everything that was on that <laughs> everything that was on that bathroom sink, it just fell into my backpack. My suitcase i zipped it i zipped that suitcase i took everything else that was on the bedside whatever that was there contact co- contact case my glasses case everything i just threw inside we left that room in like less than two minutes as i tell you that was the fastest two minutes of my life we got downstairs got into the cab we got on the group so i wanted to check what is going on on the group the agent wasn't on the group. I'm like, eh? We're finished. We're finished. The agent wasn't on the group. And as I'm seeing, the group number is reducing. People are getting off the group. They're getting out the group. One by one, people are getting out the group. I'm like, ah. wait what wait 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 people are getting out of the group so i deleted myself from the group and then all of a sudden i was on another group basically the models had created another group without the agent because you know the agent is kind of like you know painted i think she was caught yeah she was caught yeah she was caught by the police okay i'll tell you at the end what happened i don't know why they even re-added us to this group because they were still speaking russian so only to find out that they were at the train station waiting for us. Yeah, they actually waited for us. Well, I was shocked too. But anyways, um, we were like 30 minutes away from the train station. It was a very, very long ride because I didn't even want to be seen. We are just like laying, do- laying low in the taxi, just like, you know, very, very scared and paranoid, by the way. Very paranoid. Um, every, ta- um, every police car that was like we passed we were like really low in the cab i'm pretty sure the cab driver was like what is wrong with these girls and then the cab driver also had this walkie-talkie that's what um cab drivers like using in china they have this walkie-talkie that they use to talk to each other and was also going off like i was like oh my god what if he's talking to the police he wasn't talking to the police because we ended up getting to we ended up getting um to the train station and then we ran because we were like 10 minutes away from the train we're supposed to get. We ran to get the train tickets. We got onto the train. 
uh, we went to get the train tickets. We managed to buy the train tickets like five minutes before the train left. Got the train tickets, and then we were on the train. But still, people were still paranoid. They were like, "Okay, what if they get us at the train station?" I was like, "Oh my god, this is like another. This is like an episode of Banged Up Abroad." <laughs> I used to binge watch that series. I'm like, "Oh my god, am I gonna be an episode?" on banged up abroad because i heard chinese prisons are like the worst ever and like i can't i can't imagine myself in a, in a chinese prison no i'd rather be deported i can't I can't nah fam i rebuke and i nah that that is not my life nope i refuse but anyways um we managed to get on the chain Fred couldn't make it because he was actually arrested. The agent was also arrested, and apparently the estate was fined like thirty thousand RMB or something like that for hiring us. And、uh, Fred was able to get free, get out of I think jail or I think he got a slap on the wrist or something because he's still working. Till this day. And you know, back in my country, there are these immigrants from this other country. Um, I don't want to name the country, but a lot of them work illegally in my country in Botswana, and the police are always, you know, running after them, trying to get them while they're working, trying to get them arrested and deported. And for the first time, I actually felt genuine hurt and pain for them because I felt I experienced what they. You know, experience, and I was like, "Oh my God, this is really painful. It's a very, very scary situation to be in, and I do not ever want to be in that situation ever again." And I didn't model for like a year and a half because I was like, "No, this is not what I'm not going to risk it all for this, you know, for this job." But okay, I'm just gonna stop there. Let me not say much. <laughs> Anyways,、um, that was my story. I hope you liked it. I'm not very good at story times, but if you liked this video, if you liked the story time, I have a lot of crazy stories of my life here in China. If you want to hear more, please let me know in the comment section, and I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. Like and subscribe. You know the drill. Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking like that. Gosh. Anyways, I will see you in my next video. Bye, Jen.